Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just a Drum playing Dark Souls 3 at the Weapon Players. Last episode we uh, met, we did some part of the Road of Sacrifices. And today we're just going to go and defeat the Crystal Sage and make our way over to the Cathedral of the Deep. I also managed to get uh, some armor which is going to be cosplay-ish. <laughs> I feel like it, it looks fine though, in my opinion. The only thing that's a little bit out of place is the giant freaking machete on my back. But, uh, you win some, you lose some, I suppose. Hello, friends. We're gonna move this way. Nope, you're just gonna do that. There we go. I'm wondering what my poise is right now. I have a poise of 4.04. <laughs> that's pretty good. It doesn't matter too much. Poise is... Poise is kind of a useless stat in this game. Let me just go and murder all these dudes. Ow. I can watch those two. Like those dudes when I two end my weapon. I actually kind of want to see what the difference is right now. So it's 307. And 334. So 30 more damage if I do... Uh, if I two-hand it. And I can get another buff going when I sharpen it. No, let's go and take a look at that. If I sharpen this thing. It now does 367 freaking damage. That's a lot of damage. That's the other thing though, like... The Great Axe, like the other Great Axe, has more damage, I think. Not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty dang sure about that. It just has more damage. But this thing has the sharpened skill also, which will increase its damage, so... But it is, of course, a skill that you'd have to use, and it's a buff, which is just... Mm, not amazing. Wow, you're not dead. Well, now you're dead. If I were to two-hand my weapon, though, you would die in one shot. Which is very good to know. Bon. And bon. I want to see what I can do against these lycanthropes again. Now that I am even stronger. <laughs> Alright, I like the fact that it looks at me and just doesn't give a fuck. Alright. Fork. 730 damage. And he, once again, not even an answer out of him. And this guy's just looking at me like, oh no, oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. I like the amount of damageos that I'm doing, it's very satisfying. After I've done a spear playthrough where everything is underwhelming. Alright. And bonk. We go and kill a couple of your friends. Until you decide to jump down. Actually, I actually have no idea if this guy could use freaking soul spear. No? No, okay then. Whoops, hey. I think I'll like an order rest of the cronies. Don't really care too much about him. <laughs> it's one shot. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. And some other text that I actually don't know. Dude, you don't even know my freaking my magic absorption, bro. Okay. Let me go and do something crazy. So, I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be sharpening a weapon. There we go. Let's go and run. Oh! Sharpening my weapon got rid of the lightning buff. That's kinda shitty. Boom, boom, say. Two hand weapon. That's a lot of damage! <laughs> Are you gonna leave? Yes. Let me go and do a lot of damage to get him. And it's been like second phase! Surprise, second phase. Well, it's not too big of a surprise there. Ow. Let me go this way. Time for a big old attack. Fuck. Goodbye. 
That's good to know, though. The fact that I cannot stack um, my sharper and buff together with my lightning buff. Good to know. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's the crystal sage net. That was pretty dang easy. Well, I was doing 600 damage or something, so... Hmm. I guess it makes a lot of sense. Alright. Uh, yeah, just continue leveling up. That is all that I need to do. Hmm. Well, right now the increase is not going to be amazing, but I think the scaling is probably going to increase later on in the game. Let me go and get my 32 strength. So I can use the other axe. And from now I'm going to focus on... Stamina. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, no. I don't think there's anything I want to buy from you. Right now. I can go and upgrade my assets there. Which seems like a pretty good idea. Also quite like the idea of like a pretty princess running around and fucking smashing people with a giant machete. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of that. Alright. Let us continue. It's time to go over to the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> Let's see about smashing people's faces in over there. Let me go and get this Twink Ring Pack Knight. Because it's pretty damn important. How much damage am I doing right now? 336 two-handed. Not buffed, because it does like 360 when, I'm bu when I buff it. So. Oi, mate. Get over here. He's probably going to do a charge attack, though. Yep. <laughs> he always does this thing. Oh, yeah. Stun locked. Amazing. Hello, other mate. I'm using the weapon of your kind. Why can we not be friends? <laughs> Probably because I'm murdering you. Hello, big lady. Big girls, you are beautiful. <laughs> uh, and bog. Oh, I'm a big old fan of my freaking damage right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so happy that I don't have to deal with spears anymore. That's all I'm saying. That is just... That's like that's like the core of my commentary right now. Just be, me, be, me saying that I'm happy that I don't have to use spears anymore. Alright. Uh, I guess I can't. I was thinking about doing a punching attack, but no, that's not going to happen. Bonk. 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 It's like, let me use my dagger. Ah! What do you think you're doing now? Stun rocks. He got killed real quickly. <laughs> Casually walk to the left. Is that gonna kill you? Yep. <laughs> Pathetic. I'm wearing the hat of your kind. Why do you hate me? Uh, probably because I stole this hat from a corpse of his kind. <laughs> I didn't earn the privilege to be called a bandit. Hello, friend. My god. There we go. Time to deal with the real Casino of the Deep. Not this little side area. Right, let me go into this for a moment and... A smash! I wonder what's gonna happen right now. Okay. <laughs> You're dead, son. You're dead. Oh, 
Let's just go and ignore this, uh, this uh, groveling old man. You must be. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if there ever was like hype for the uh, Asher variant though, DLC. I'm really wondering that. <laughs> well, there might have been hype, but I have a feeling that that hype was gone pretty dang fast. Get smashed, fool! There we go. I just noticed that I still need a lot of stats. But I also really need more endurance. <laughs> HP, I feel like I'm fine on right now. For the moment, of course. Let's go back to Firelink and level up. Level up. Let's go and take a look at the damage that uh, this thing does. I feel like this thing is going to be better than this one when it comes to damage. Like just standard straight up damage. But as you can see, it is... It's pretty dang small. <laughs> it's not the biggest of axes. I like the, the... You don't have a lot of range with it. Let's say it like that. So I think I'm going to continue using this one. At least for the time being. Unless if the damage goes like insane. <laughs> when I see the damage rise like crazy. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna need four stats, like four levels for you. Three levels for you. Eight more for you. Okay. And then eight more for this one. So that's already 16 and then together with the four. This one's gonna be 20 and then 20, uh, 23, sorry. Okay, so I need 23 more levels to be put in stats. And then I'm fine actually. Quite surprisingly. <laughs> hmm. My HP isn't amazing though. Well, it's fine for the time being. You know what, sure, let's go and put some... Let's go and start putting some stats into... Like some levels into stats that I don't... Like, that I'm gonna need for a weapon. But that I technically don't need. Let me also go and upgrade my Estus again. So that I can run through uh, the Crusader of the Deep without too many issues. Ah, uh, whoopsie. Oh yeah, right, I haven't even upgraded this one to the next level. But that's because I saw this, and I was like, oh my god. Let me see, though. Because you just gotta see. Scaling and 70. Hmm. You know what? Since I don't really care too much about it, I'm probably gonna be using the Great Machete quite a lot. I'm gonna infuse him. Let me also go and, you know, do the thing I was gonna do over here. There we go. Oi, mate. Thank you. Oh, I can see it right now. The way that the dress works. You can see it like under, like at the back, and then like under her, uh, under her armpit, armpit and all of this. I can now see the image that is being portrayed, but it's only visible when you have this set equipped. I think. Not that I'm not sure about that, but. Once again, that's the reason why I use the word I think. Let's just go and continue our journey. By smashing people in the face. <laughs> With a big ol' axe. Or machete, in this case. Is there a difference between axe and machete? Yes. <laughs> there is. <laughs> there very much is. Right, let me go and get out my torch. So I can stun these dudes. Stun these fools! And also get rid of the maggots if I get hit. Wow. Oh, look at that damage! It is amazing. I am in love with this character and with this build. Well, maybe not in love, but... I am a fan of it. That's a fact. There we go. And smash! A swish and a flick. Wingardium Leviosa. I guess I technically used Wingardium Leviosa against, uh, against war, like the, the one enemy in earlier in the game that decided to fly into the air when I did a big old attack on his face. 
One shot. Nice hit. Wow, uh, it's starting to rain. I haven't heard rain in a while. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's been snowing a lot for quite some time. But now the cold is gone and the snow too. I'm a fan of snow, I'm just not a fan of the cold. So I'm kind of happy that it's over. Oh my god. My god. Great axes are good. At least for the time being, of course. My thoughts on the matter might change. Later on in the game. Once I reach more difficult bosses to fight. Because I feel like a... L yeah, I would say that like a lot in Dark Souls is just bosses. Like the, the biggest challenge in Dark Souls tends to be the bosses. It's not always the bosses, but... Like there's more than enough runs like this one over here that I'm doing. Like not this part of the run, but once you get like next to... Uh, next to the cathedral. That is also like a really difficult part of the game, I would say. The same with like... Uh, when you just enter Earthill. That entire part, the first part of Earthill, is also quite nasty. Alright, and a smash, and a smash, and a smash! <laughs> Stun lock capability of this weapon is so good. Whoopsie. Let's go and get my torch. Get rid of them maggots. Bloody maggots. Honk. Cleave the bastards in two. In twain. If you would. Another undead bone shard. To heal my massive amount of HP. <laughs> well, I do have a like I have a I have a decent amount of HP for this for this uh, part of the game. One of the said it's amazing, but it's also not bad. So, whoops, hit. and there you go. Let me go and heal up. See if I can kill this guy behind the wall. Oh boy. I was about to say like this is where the weird this is where the game becomes weird. Nice. Give me one shot of middle running attack. Alright, let me go and grab out my throwing knives. Get shot by the dude. Back there. I'm just gonna go and ignore him because he sucks. He's gonna draw first with his flam birch. I'm gonna get shot again. Because why not, wouldn't I? There we go. I'm um, still. I still need my uh, throwing knives. I was thinking about removing them, but that is not necessary quite yet. Huh. He's like a red bitch, red. Let me go this way. And fucking kill him! Goodbye, shield. And goodbye, life. Hiding behind the shield. <laughs> he says while carrying a shield on his back. And sometimes also using it to block attacks. Alright, let me go and do a charge attack. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he did. He dang diddly dead. Let me go this way. And kill your friend. Where'd he go? Oh. There we go. Oh, I love one-shotting enemies so much. It is so nice. One-shotting and stun-locking enemies is so nice in this game. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to do your attacks. Your poise is not enough. Damn it. 
They could outrange me, of course. Or be faster than me. That is my biggest flaw. My slowness. There we go. I think I've only just noticed like the flowers on this thing. <laughs> on this dress. It's actually quite a beautiful dress. Once again, never worn this uh, stuff in the game, so... Ah, oh, yes, I was wondering, like, hmm, one-shot? And yes, indeed, it is. Even the running attack is a one-shot. Nicely. I'm starting to get hungry again. How much blocking power do you have? 50. Yeah. It's kind of what I expected from this. It's just because this is just like such a big old slab of iron. The same with the other great axe. <laughs> I have 17k right now. Um, 21 minutes. Hmm. I think. I think I'm gonna end off over here because I'm gonna go back to fighting to level up. And the next time we can go and uh, continue going through. Uh, the Cathedral of the Deep. Taking care of the Giants, getting the Maiden's Armor, which is one of the armor sets that I wanted. And then just continue forward. And absolutely murdering the freaking Dekas for the Deep. Or at least trying to. Okay. Uh, let me go and put some points into faith. There we go. Alright people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of just us playing Dark Souls 3 other weapon pages. And next episode we're gonna go and deal with the Cathedral of the Deep. Goodbye.